under colonialism and the authoritarian rule, the price is priced to dodge its role of the watchdog, and journalists remain with no option but to become spin doctors of the governing body, and the role of the press is therefore redefined as a propaganda tool for national development at the realm of control and power under the leadership of President Edgar Lungu. Institutions and many others say Zambia was slowly becoming an authoritarian regime, resulting in the creation of authoritarian press systems. Subsequently, most media houses lost their independence, fairness, impartiality, humanity, responsibility, and accountability as they had to serve the hand that fed them. Media experts say the Patriotic Front Party created a political climate which literally required the journalists to align themselves with the government as propagandists rather than serve as watchdogs. This resulted in the majority Zambians suffering from lack of credible and factual information of their interest. Many institutions that condemned the Patriotic Front Party and its leadership for their wrongs were tagged as opposition. The media space under the PF regime completely shrieked to the level of wanting to close social media platforms. When President Edgar Lungu came into office as Republican president, he promised the media heaven on earth and the access to information bill was one request the media had made, but up to date, the bill still remain in the shelves of parliament. President-elect Mr. Haka Indehichlema is now man of the moment and has equally promised to liberate the media and also to respect the constitution of Zambia. We pledge the people of Zambia that we will foster a better democracy, a better democracy, rule of law, being integral to that, restoring order, respecting human rights, liberties and freedoms, choices, media. There's a new dawn for you. No one will check us you. Freedom of speech and the freedom of expression and that of the press is articulated in chapter 19 of the constitution of Zambia, but it was curtailed. I don't want capitalism. Then I'm proud with media because the media, no one to a mozi, I can see the Osikuna Mzuba. But I put it on a shinkirizi, what to watch the announce about the individual. Harassment of journalists in a democratic nation like Zambia is totally unacceptable as journalists are only messengers of information. In fact, media harassment is tantamount to criminality. It is the hope of every professional journalist to see a liberated and economically free media with better working conditions for journalists as this will restore impartiality, objectivity, truthfulness, accuracy, fairness, and factualness. Wells Funda, S24 News. Lusaka.